everyone, it's Todd here from Baking with Fox Hollow Kitchen. This week we're bringing you a taste of summer with lemon blueberry muffins, only on Baking with Fox Hollow Kitchen. Fan. I'm Todd and welcome to Baking with Fox Hollow Kitchen. This week, as I said, we're bringing you a taste of summer with a fun recipe for lemon blueberry muffins. Now, we have done these before, but this is a little bit of a twist on them and it's brought to you from my friend over in the UK, Dave. So special thanks to Dave for giving us this recipe today. And if you're ready, then let's have some fun. Okay, to start off our muffins, we're gonna go ahead and take how many cups of blueberries we got here, Dave? Two? Oh, two and a half. Yeah, two and a half. A little more than two. It's not critical how much exactly. And we're going to add three teaspoons of flour. And just kind of mix them around together. Try to get everything nice and coated. Once again, I want to give credit to where credit is due. This recipe comes to us from a friend of ours, Dave, over in the UK. So thanks, Dave, for this recipe. He actually makes this, I believe, as a layer cake. Mm -hmm. So you can actually, he said you can make this as muffins, layer cake, whatever you decide to do. So yeah, I think this is going to be pretty well coated. I mean, what do you think? Yeah, about it looks good. Just coat them in the flour. Okay, and then we're going to set this aside. Okay, next up we're going to take two cups of flour, put it in our bowl here. To that we're going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, mm -hmm. and then two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Okay. Now I know you guys are wondering at home why we're doing lemon blueberry muffins as we've done them before as one of our earlier mm -hmm. episodes this is just a different take and honestly it's something fun i mean this is definitely more of a summery type of recipe yes so yeah we just want to whisk this all together and then set it aside all right next up we're going to go ahead and take four eggs at room temperature add them to our stand mixer here we we'll put on our guard here because we're going to be doing something a little different that we normally don't do here for an episode. Can add our probably should add this first, huh? Yeah, probably want to add the the whisk attachment. Yes. Okay. And we're just going to beat our eggs on high speed here. For about 30 seconds and then we're going to add one and a half cups of sugar to the mix mm -hmm. all right now we're going to add our sugar and then we're just going to let this run here for about seven minutes on high speed until it's tripled in volume and white. Alright. Alright, now that it's been about seven minutes and it's white and fluffy here, we're going to take a third of our flour mixture and just add it to our mixture here. See if I can do this without making a mess. I think that looks like about a third there, yeah, And now we're going to add another third of it. Oh, Jesus, take the wheel on this one here. Yep. And then we're going to add our last third here. This isn't as easy as it looks here, guys. So, yeah. 
we're just gonna let this mix then. Yeah, I think we're in good shape here. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. All right, next up we're gonna take half a cup of butter or a stick of butter mm -hmm. and add it to our bowl here. We wanna have it very hot here. Okay. Next up, we're gonna add a cup of sour cream at room temperature. Mm -hmm. Now, Dave, what is it about sour cream or even like buttermilk that is really good with like baking recipes? Oh, it keeps it very moist. Any kind of sour cream, buttermilk, anything like that with a high fat content, it keeps the, uh, the baking really moist. Mm -hmm. I think that looks pretty looks scraped pretty there. Good, yeah. Okay, next up we're going to add three teaspoons of vanilla. Okay. Three teaspoons of oil. Okay. And three teaspoons of lemon zest. Okay, lemon zest. Let me see if I can scrape this out here a little bit. Yeah. As I said, this is a very summery recipe, and I'm grateful that Dave gave us this recipe here, here last minute because we were kind of struggling on what to do this here this week. Okay. And we're just going to whip this together here. We're going to go back to our bowl that we had our sour cream mixture in, and we're going to take some of our egg mixture from before mm -hmm. and just combine that into this. It's going to be very sticky, but yes, I am definitely grateful that Dave gave us this recipe, and we're just going to whisk this together, okay. just until it's just combined. You don't want to over, over mix it. Mm -hmm. All right, now that we're kind of caught up to where we need to be, mm -hmm. we're going to go ahead and take our bowl with our egg mixture along with our sour cream mixture. And add it back into our egg mixture that we had in our stand mixer here. This is definitely a lot thinner than when it was just the eggs and the sugar. Uh -huh. So that's definitely a lot nicer. Even if you want to see a certain recipe being made on the show, reach out to us because honestly we're always looking for something yeah. new different and exciting so then we're just going to add our whisk attachment back on okay. and we're just going to mix this together until everything's combined okay just making sure you keep it on low speed though yeah all right that looks like an awesome awesome batter here Okay. We're going to go ahead and clean this up and we're going to set our stand mixer aside and move on to the next part, which I believe we're going to be adding our blueberries. Excellent. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Next up, we're going to have some fun here. We're going to go ahead and take our blueberries and our flour mixture here. And we're just going to add it to our batter. Okay. And we're just going to gently fold these in, trying not to mash together the blueberries. Okay. I mean, you might have it happen, especially in my case, I tend to be a bit of a bull in a china shop of stuff, but, oh my gosh, this just looks so cool. I love anything with blueberries. I think, honestly, blueberries are such a versatile, versatile fruit. Mm-hmm. You can, use, you can use it basically for, well, right. any, anything really. Yeah. If you think about it, so I mean, how do you? Th what do you think, Dave? I think that's good. Make sure you get the whole way to the bottom. There okay. you go. And otherwise, yeah, it looks good. Looks just gonna coat them. Yep. Get them all mixed in there. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get our muffin pans ready then. All right. Let's go ahead and make our muffins here. I can take some of our batter here. Try not to make too much of a mess here, but you guys know, huh? how I am with stuff. I tend to be a little messy at times, so. That's... 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get these filled. And then we're gonna pop in the, in the oven here for 20 to 30 minutes whenever the cakes come out clean with a toothpick. And we're gonna do that at 350 degrees. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and do it. While our muffins are cooling, let's go ahead and make a fun frosting for on top. We're going to start off with two sticks of butter. Okay. Get all the butter scraped off here. And to that, we're going to add an eight ounce block of cream cheese. Okay. Why is it the cream cheese always comes off easier off the plate than? Oh, I'm not sure. And we're just going to beat this together into a slight and fluffy. Okay. Okay, that looks really good there. Mm -hmm. Next up, we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. And to that, we're going to add two tablespoons of lemon juice. Yum. And mix this all together here. All right, and then lastly, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a little bit at a time, four cups of powdered sugar. Because mm -hmm. knowing how my luck is, we'll end up having a cloud of smoke. Oh yeah. And we don't want that, so. Okay. We're just gonna keep it on low speed here and just mix it in until it's just combined. All right, that looks like a really, really good icing for the top of our cupcake muffins here so let's go ahead and get this shut off and get everything scraped and get into a piping bag okay let's do it all right let's go ahead and ice our muffins here Dave was nice enough to put the icing into a piping bag here we're just gonna start on the outside just draw around Now you guys know at home, I am no expert at this. I'm only going to do my best here with this. Dave is more of the person who has the, I'm usually so nervous doing this. No, this look good. You guys know I'm usually a bull in a china shop with this, and yeah, so far so good. I'm gonna go ahead and ice these, and then we're gonna top each one with a blueberry, and we'll show them what they look like whenever they're done. Time for my favorite part, the taste test. So let's see how we did here. Mmm. Light, fluffy, so, so sweet, so, so good. You guys gotta love it. Enjoy. Wrapping up today, I want to thank you again for joining me and encourage you to check out our friends and support channels listed in the description below. But before I go, always remember, it's good times and good food on Baking with Fox Hollow Kitchen. I'll see y'all soon. If you like this video or any of our other videos, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and stay tuned for future shows.